Hallelujah. Praise be to the Father. Amen. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. I hope you praise the Lord with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and you're ready to receive now active prayer. So this is the time whenever I pray, however the Holy Spirit tells me to do. It can be an intercessory prayer for the church. For the lost, it can be an intercessory prayer for revival, amen, and that's what the Lord spoke to me, that's what we're going to pray for today. It can be a deliverance prayer, it can be a healing prayer, it can be a time of worship, it can be an edification prayer, where the Lord speaks through me to you, amen, which he's done a few times this year. But today I was in prayer about what to pray for, specifically during active prayer, and he spoke um, that we are to intercede for the church, to raise it up, to revive it. Amen? We're going to pray for revival of the church. Okay? Many people think of revival, oftentimes they think of, you know, revival of going out and preaching the gospel or the kingdom to other nations and bringing in people. Well, that is part of it, but revival is, in this instance, is reviving the church, resurrecting it, bringing it to life from the ashes where it's kind of been, not moving in power and authority over the kingdom of darkness. Amen? You know? So, we're going to do that. If you would join me, please. There are there's strength in numbers. Amen. One can put 1,000 to flight. Two can put 10,000 to flight. In the Old Testament, it states that. And it's talking about the enemy, but it's the same with Christians, right? You know, two or more, two are better than one, right? Someone falls in a ditch, you have a friend, he can pull you out, right? Two can keep each other warm at night, Jesus said. So we need each other, and we need this prayer to go out in power. Amen. So agree with me, whatever I'm hearing. Okay, I'm going to try to just hear from the Holy Spirit and pray what He wants me to pray. Okay, let's begin. First, I'm going to begin by just worshiping and thanking the Lord a little more. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for saving our lives. Thank you for writing our names in heaven. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name forever and ever, King of kings and Lord of lords. Oh, fill us with your Holy Spirit now, all of us out here listening. And in the future, if somebody watches this in the future and they join in, fill them with the Holy Spirit, Father God, in Jesus' name. Fill me with fire, Father God. May this be a prayer of fervency for you and your church, Jesus. Speak to us now. Speak to me, Holy Spirit. Speak to me. Heavenly Father, we lift up the church right now. We call forth revival. We ask for revival. In Jesus' name, we ask for revival upon the church and resurrection. We call them out. We call them out in Jesus Christ's name. We call out the sons and daughters of God to take position in Jesus Christ's name in the church and the body of Christ now to take their position, bring forth the apostles, bring forth the evangelists, bring forth the, bring forth the prophets, bring forth, forth the pastors and teachers now in Jesus Christ's name. Revival, resurrect them in Jesus Christ's name, Father God. Bring them forth in Jesus' name. We intercede right now, Father God. Oh, we cry out to you, Father God. We cry out to you. Bring them forth now, Father God. Raise them up in Jesus' name. Raise them up now in Jesus' name. Revive them. Bring those dead bones alive, Father God. Breathe life into them in Jesus Christ's name. Bring them into their position, into their station all across the globe, all across the world, every city, every nation, every tongue. Bring them into position now. Those leaders you've called forth, the apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, teachers. Bring them forth now. Bring them forth now into position in Jesus Christ's name. Now, Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, we ask you to bring forth the brothers and sisters in Christ into their position into their servant positions, into their servitude positions, whatever they're supposed to do, Father God. If they're supposed to care for the poor, bring them into the, that position. If they're supposed to be a missionary on the mission field, going into foreign lands, helping those who are destitute, bring them into position now, Father God. Revive the church. Bring the unity of the Holy Spirit into the church now, Father God. Bring the unity into the house churches, Father God. Bring the power of the Holy Spirit in the house churches now, Father God. Raise up disciples, raise up apostles now, Father God, in Jesus Christ. They might cry out for revival, for resurrection, Father God. We cry out for revival on the church. May miracles, signs, and wonders follow when we go preach the gospel and the good news. Bring it forth now, Father God, in Jesus' name we cry out, O Lord. Make it a prayer of fervency, my saints. Pray from your heart. Pray with fervency. What's a fervent prayer? A prayer of heartfelt, Holy Spirit-pushed prayer. You understand me? Just don't pray from your lips. Pray from the heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The fervent prayer of the righteous man availeth much. Pray with fervency. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. Blessed be your name. I pray for the Jewish nation, Father God, that they would rise up, that they would be pulled out into the Masonic kingdom. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them to the Messiah, Jesus. Bring them. Bring them. Bring them, Father God. Bring those in a position who are supposed to be in a position. Those men of God like Kurt Schneider, those other Jewish people who have already come into the fulfillment of Jesus, that know him, bring them into position now.
to bring forth more Jewish people in your kingdom, Father God. As we are rooted in Israel, we are all rooted into that. We are all grafted and drafted into that root of the Hebrews. Father God, in Jesus Christ's name, I pray for revival on the church right now, Father God, all across the globe, all across the United States, all across Africa, Europe, Asia, Australia, all across the globe, South America, Central America, all across the globe, Father God. I ask in Jesus' name, you'd break forth resurrection and revival of the church. I pray that every house church would have the unity of Christ within it. I pray every church body, no matter where it's at, would have the unity of Christ, even the underground church. Lord, I cry out for those who are bound in nations that cannot preach the gospel openly for the underground church. I cry out for them, Father God, that those nations would be loosed for the gospel to come forth right now in Jesus' name. I pray it be loosed in China, loosed in North Korea, in North Vietnam, all those communist countries, North loosed in um, the Middle East in Jesus Christ's name in the Muslim countries. I pray for the gospel to go forth in power and might and those church bodies be loosed and be in the unity of Christ, walking in the fulfillment of the Holy Spirit and power in Jesus' name. I pray for this nation right now, the United States of America, that they would repent, that they would humble themselves, the church, the body of Christ, who's walked in pride. I pray that they would repent, fall on their knees, and you'd fill us with your Holy Spirit and your fire, Father God, and there would be the unity of the Holy Spirit, Lord. I pray for men and women of God to turn from their evil, wicked ways and repent and seek you, Father God. Oh, help me to walk holy and righteousness in righteousness all my days and help everyone out here listening walk in holiness and righteousness all of their days for your glory. Help us to be obedient to the call you put upon us, Father God. Show us clearly now what our call is for you. Ask for the Holy Spirit to show us clearly what our call is for you now in Jesus' name. Every spirit be bound that's keeping them from hearing from the Holy Spirit now. You're bound. I cut off your functions and powers. I put you on the authority of Christ. Holy Spirit, speak. Speak to them. What is their position? What are they to do, Lord? Speak, Jesus. I hope you're hearing from the Lord because I am. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for speaking to me, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You may have only heard one word. You may have heard servant. You may have heard pastor. You may have heard teacher. You may have heard worship. Maybe if you heard worship, you're probably a worshiper. You're supposed to be singing to the Lord. Amen? Hell, maybe you heard intercessor. You're an intercessor then. You've got power in intercessory prayer. And you need to be praying for this church. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Speak to them, Holy Spirit. So they know their position, where they're to walk, where, where they are to walk, in what position you put them in, in what office you put them in, in the body of Christ. In Jesus' name, speak to them, Holy Spirit. I hear I have spoken. Thank you, Holy Spirit. He has spoken to you. I hope you heard it. If you didn't hear him audibly in your mind, in the quietness of the stillness of your body, your heart, your soul, then quiet yourself. Go into prayer after this service. Ask for the Holy Spirit to speak to you again. Bind up any devils or demons. Focus on the Lord. Maybe you need to praise and worship him. You enter his gates through thanksgiving. When you're praising and honoring him and worshiping and thanking him, it's easier to hear from the Lord, by the way. Fast and pray. Maybe you need to fast to get out of the way to hear from him. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name forever and ever, Father God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Praise be to you. Praise be to you. Hallelujah. Well, I pray you're touched by the Holy Spirit. I pray you continue to intercede for the church, for revival, for the resurrection of the church. In fact, right now in Jesus Christ's name, we call the church forward in Jesus' name, don't we? We call it forward. We resurrect those dead bones. Right now in Jesus Christ's name, we breathe life. Blow into the, blow into the wind. We breathe life into the church. Holy Spirit, breathe on the church now in Jesus' name all across the globe. Breathe, Holy Spirit, on the church. Fill us at Pentecost again. Hallelujah. Pentecost is coming up. Be prepared to be filled. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know if you feel the Holy Spirit, but I do. And the fire of God on you. I do. Hallelujah. Blessed be your name, Father. Blessed be your name. I want to bless you. Before I do that, if you'd consider giving us a love offering or tithe for the work that we do for the Lord, a worker is worthy of his wages. We pass it on to other people, and we use it for ministry work. And um, anyway, we've been supporting some orphans overseas in India and Africa. That, that They're shut down over there because of this thing going on. I, I don't even want to talk about it anymore because I don't. God's using it, but it's not of God, I don't think, uh, by any means. Um, and I think it's been way overblown. But anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, they can't work. They can't, they can't go out and bring in food for orphans and stuff. So um, we've been sending money over there. So... Um, if you want to just specifically send money for them, let us know. We support 120 some orphans in uh, 
India through a man of God named Pastor Enosh and uh, Pastor David in Africa. He has 20-some orphans we support. He also, though, with funds we sent, went and uh, and uh, got money or got food and gave it to, to other children that are on the street that they normally go to a hotel and get food from. And the hotel isn't in operation uh, because they're shut down. So he's supporting other people, other children on the streets. So, um, you know, they're famished and poor. And here in America, we're the richest nation in the world, pretty much. I mean, they need they need your finances. I mean, you have so much food on their table, and, and they're starving for rice or beans. So anyway, if you want to just send them money, let us know when you when you send us an offering. We'll just send that directly to them. Anyway, I want to bless you. Pray about it, by the way. I want to bless you. Open your hands up to the Father, okay? The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace, shalom, in Yeshua's name, Jesus' name, amen. Have a blessed week. Intercede for the church for resurrection revival. You start to walk in the office the Lord has appointed you to. And I love you. God bless you. Have a wonderful week.